Hello and good evening, everybody. So this is the how-to event, and this will be recorded. Uh, I'm Vihka. I am a student council president of Uro of Riveria, and I will be your host this evening. If at any time you have any questions, feel free to write them down or raise your hand if you want to ask them straightforward. And tonight's um, timetable, we will start with Emilia Köpsi, go on to Jiri, and last we have panel. And between those, we have small uh, breaks, so everybody can go grab some drink or something to eat on those. But we will inform you when those happen and Please, Milia, if you would kindly start telling about yourself and what are we doing here today. Hello, everyone. I'm Milia and I have no idea what we are doing because my life is uh, full of uh, sattumuksia. My English is not that good, so if I'm struggling with some word, I will say it in Finnish and maybe you, Pihka or, or Nico, could help me with that. But uh, during my speech, I will actually tell you more about me and my work than you even imagine or want to know. So should we start right away? That sounds perfect. Go ahead, I will shut my camera and please go. I I would like to share my screen and I probably need your help. You need to say when you can see the stuff I'm sharing. Can you see my first slide, how to add to do? Yes, we can see it perfectly. Thank you. So how to attitude and in my words in other words how to be a total loser and still succeed but first i'm gonna give you a content and trigger warning so i'm gonna show you some words and say some words words so if you have some triggering words this might be the moment this presentation contains uh, short stories about suicide, depression, and drug abuse. But I can assure you, it also contains a really, really, really happy things and really, really happy life. We are going shortly through what I, I have done in my life, the bad things and the good things, and something about the attitude. Your event description was that mindset that turns challenges into victory. You can go through turbulent times and still have victory in your life. And that is what this event is all about. And I love this. I actually love this description quite a lot because that's exactly my life is. That turbulent is called it life. And these turbulences and challenges are not avoidable. We can run and we can try hide, but ultimately we have to face those challenges, disappointments and problems. I hate those. I know you hate those too. So in situations like that, the only one thing we kind of can do is just face those challenges. But we can decide, do we uh, face those challenges with joy or do we hate those? Because sometimes in difficult times, that is the only choice we can do. And this is the one of the attitude that makes a difference in your life. You see it later. I'm going to give you another content warning. I'm already 45 years old and I've already lived through a lot of shitty times and, and, and these turbulent times. 
many times. So it's easy to be here and say that you just need to do this or you just need to do that and you need to attitude like this. It's so unbelievable easy to be after wise. So I'm quite sorry about that, that I'm going to state some things because I know that we all need to experience this path with the turbulence, that life. We need to stumble. We need to try out things. We need to explore, explore and enjoy and learn and learn again. And this is something that I cannot never, never teach you. You need to do this things by yourself. I'm sorry, but it's a good thing. I promise you, it's a good thing. Uh, so a little bit about myself after these warnings. Um, I'm a leader of the Mimit Koda Ohjelma. We have a community of 7,000 women and 60 software companies, and we are trying to encourage women to move on on software industry. I've been working three years and our program and I am myself, we have been awarded many times. And on Friday, we're going to have an event, virtual event, where there's a 1,000, more than 1,000 participants. And we have the honor of President Halonen being there. I'm also a member of the knighthood. I'm an Italian knight president. Mattarella has awarded me with the honor of night, so you can call me Dame. Please don't. Please, oh God, please don't call me Dame. <laughs> I have been on influencer lists. I have been awarded uh, stuff, different kind of things. I have a good salary. I have a situation where people listen to me. I have a lot of friends and I have a good salary and my life seems really nice my people who don't know me tend to think that i'm an effective businesswoman i have a solid social skills and i probably been always a boss girl and weird stuff like that i even heard that people are afraid of me because they think that i'm so cold and steel because of my awards and achievements and weird stuff like that and pictures on the press, of course, make an image of me look like something. But what I am, am I really a cold business, businesswoman? Have I always been a boss girl? And have I been a menestuja? What's the word for the, that? I ne have I been a winner always? We are going to gonna go through that. Uh, but I, at first I want to, before we dive into my dark past, I want to tell you that my attitude is learning. And I hope that you are keeping this word on your mind when I tell you sad stories about my life, but I also try to tell you happy stories of my life. Oh, let's start with my childhood. Uh, I have been raised in really, really religious family, super relig religious family. There was a stereotypical roles for women. They should have a long hair and have a dress. And men are always the family leaders. And I was never allowed to have friends or I was never allowed to watch TV. I never had a boyfriend. I always was on the congregation stuff or at home. I don't know nothing about the teen life. I don't know nothing about dating. I don't, ha I don't know anything about the pop culture. Even my basic knowledge about the world events it's, is defective. I don't know what has happened in 20 years in my life. Also, member of our congregation assaulted me sexually and my father comforted me by saying it's okay his wife won't blame you so i moved out that same day 
that when I turn it 18, I don't have relationship with my father at all. But still, I learned it something. Actually, I learned it something. Uh, because of my religious background, we have a lots of uh, uh, these cocos, like meetings in congregations where I was, I had to do speech like this. I had to go to the door to door and face the weird, face the um, people that I don't know and tell them about the paradise and Jesus and stuff like that, even when I was six. And I had to do that every week. I know speak. I can speak. At this day, I have social skills. I'm not afraid of people. I can go to any door and start to speak whatever I want. I'm not afraid of people. I can speak. And I have a lots of social skills. And because I didn't have any teen life, I read a lot. I read an amazing amount of books that I hide under my bed. And my imagination is it's amazing. I can I have no boundaries in my imagination and I can do what I ever want in my imagination. And I'm a good at cre creative stuff. Next phase. I've never been a popular girl at school. Um, People said that I'm annoying. They said that I'm loud and I speak too much and they wanted me to go away. And if, if this is something I totally cannot change or learn much of it, but something I learned. I learned it way later when I grow, did grow up and moved out from, from my family and from this circle of people, I found out that I'm not wrong. I'm not bad. I'm not loud. I don't speak too much. I don't need to go away. I'm not annoying. Those people were wrong. These people weren't for me. In my life, I finally found people who loved me because I'm loud. They loved me when I speak a lot because they want to hear me. They said that they hope that I will never go away. And when I found these right people, these friends and loved ones, they came to sort of uh, save my life. Um, I try not to start crying. Uh, I fell in love with the wrong man, and uh, he was about abuse, abuse, abusive. How you say that? Abuse, abusive. He was violent, and I lived under those conditions ten years, and eventually I fell in deep, deep depression, and later I tried to kill myself. But these people who were for me and loved me, they thought that I'm needed, I'm important, and they helped me. They teached me, they helped me away, they found something good in me and new skills in me. And they supported my next coming actions, whatever I wanted to do. And it was something that made me think that, yes, there's nothing wrong with me. There was a wrong with that man. And I was able to leave and start my life again. Also, later years, I have been working a lot with the Lähisuhde Väkivalta, family violence. I always said that I don't want this experience to be um, Suomeksi sanon aina, että lusittu turhaan. Because this happened and I cannot change it. I need to do something what I can, something that 
changes that horrible thing to something positive. And I have been part of the group that help other women who suffer from family violence. I've been a part of those actions for uh, five years. And now with the Mimit Koda Ohjelma, we are starting with the Naisten Linja, which is the organization for the family violence, helping for the family violence victims. We are starting something new. I made out something amazing from that experience. I'm able to help other people, like my friends helped me. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that the skill? Isn't that the attitude? And yeah, that's a part of the bad story. This gets better now. Um, I have, a, I have a passion for the Rome. Uh, when during that bad time, I always escaped to Rome. And I was visiting Rome so often that my friends started to ask in um, some uh, tips, what to see in Rome and where to be and what to eat and stuff like that. So I started uh, this really early version of blog travel blogs and people started to share my blog everywhere and even the strange people that I didn't know started to read my blog and one day they contacted me in Iltalehti and asked if I want to write under their name about the traveling and stuff like that. They really like it the way I used imagination in my work. You remember what I told you about the imagination when I was living with my family? My imagination and way to put the words in Finnish is quite good. I was... With my passion, I could, I could do stuff like this. And it took me forward. I never had a plan. I still don't have a plan, but I had the passion for the Rome and traveling and I, I made the travel book and then I went to Iltalehti and a couple of years later, Italian president awarded me with the knighthood and I'm the, I'm the knight. The passion, the imagination and doing stuff, even though you don't have a plan, you can do stuff and things happen. And I love that. Don't you love that too? And then we go back to the Mimikoda. Since I was raised in stereotypical world and family, I'm 45. So we had a world where guys were doing stuff with the cars and computers and all the girls had a long hair and we were going to be nurses and whatever girls like babies and old people and making food. So I kind of understand what is to be a woman in this world where nobody never trusted you and nobody never asked it what you want to do. There's always a stereotype where you are going to be because you are a girl, because you are a boy, you need to do stuff like that. I understand. I'm a girl with the, no hair. I never liked it, the dress. I always wanted to do stuff what boys do, but I was never allowed. With the Mimikoda Ohjelma, I'm going to be part of the change in the world where you can do what the fuck you ever want because of the skills you have, because the passion what you have. And these are the stuff what you can do in software industry, because software is something which makes stuff happen. Even the princess stuff, all the guy stuff, all the whatever stuff you can do it with the software. You can break the stereotypes and you can save the world and you can just change everything. 
And this is once again my passion. I have no idea what I'm doing with the with the Mimit Koda program, but I'm trying. I'm trying stuff. I'm having a discussion with people and then I'm trying. And suddenly one day I was 40, 40 years old. I understood that I'm a good. At least I'm okay. And it was the best day of my life. I understood all this stuff that I told you that I always thought that those were the negative things. They were actually positive things in my life. I made them to be positive things. You know this guy, Yoda, try not do or do not, there is no try. You know, lovely guy, bullshit. There is nothing but trying and learning. And with the trying, in reality, there is a lot of trying. The thing is that you cannot let the trying and sometimes these failures will discourage you, but you just need to embrace the loser in you. You just need to make the best of it and you need to learn. And when you learn, you can turn it to the victory. I know that people are not going through the same kind of stuff that I did. And you don't need to be a hero. You don't need to be the amazing and these kind of depressing stories. It's, it's a challenge if you don't have uh, enough strength to get up on the morning. If you broke your nail and it's, it's something that spoils your day, it's okay. It's a challenge. People are different and the challenges are different. It doesn't matter what kind of or what size of the challenge it is. Forget that. There is not small challenges, they are just challenges and you need to face those like I do. These are the things that have made my attitude to life to be a victory and succeed so that we can speak about victory and we can speak about success. You need to love yourself. You need to forgive yourself. You need to accept your flaws. I don't want you to grow up to thinking that there's only one way to be a winner or there's just the one way to learn stuff and you cannot fail and you need to master all the stuff. No, you don't. Accept your flaws. Embrace the loser in you. It makes life easier. And this is the shit I'm going through every day, every week, every month, every year in my life. And I'm going to do it also in future. I'm going to try. I'm going to try again. And then I try again. And I'm going to keep trying until I die. And I'm hoping that you never stop trying, except when you are resting. Please remember to rest. Sometimes it might be depressing, so depressing that you don't, just don't want to try. And it's okay. Then you rest. And you start again some other day. I understand that my story is quite heavy and some events are something that I cannot control. Things happen. We cannot be winners like the way the business world is trying to tell us. There's always a luck and incidents. It sometimes depends on people you meet. I'm the lucky one. I had the social skills. I'm able to try. I had amazing friends around me and things happened and sometimes things don't happen. But then you need to try again. Try new people, 
try new places, new ways. Or you need to accept that this is my life and you need to get the happiness out there. I know that my story doesn't always teach something, anything to people. And some events in my life hasn't teach, hasn't, hasn't bring, haven't bring, <laughs> did not bring any good into my life except solid understanding that I won't hurt anyone. I will treat my kids and my friends different than my father did. And I will raise my sons to be gentlemen who knows how to treat a lady. So it's okay if you don't learn nothing about this, but I will give you one chance to learn something. Or I give myself one option to teach something, even though I know it's you actually don't know what people have been through. If you see me on, on media, on the newspapers with the president, you never think that I have been using, I have been a drug abuser, I have been a depressed person, I have tried to kill myself. You don't know what people have been through. So I'm hoping that you always be gentle to others. And I think that is the best attitude what you can have with gentle attitude and learning and trying, you can win and you can get success. And you know what? This my final slide is my final winning. If I die today, I won because I made it. I'm so fucking happy in my life. And I hope that you can be happy too, whatever you do. Just keep learning. Thank you. Thank you. Can I can I start? Is it okay? Yes. Um, I'm kind of mixed of feelings. <laughs> I kind of want to cry. <laughs> Welcome to, to my life. At the same time. Welcome to my life. And I like, yeah, I like, like, and I'm gonna be like talk like ten hours or something. But um, I hope like like Pika said that this will be recorded. That because this was the best speech that I heard like in a, I don't know ten years or so. Just so honest. And you told so many things that I wrote a note, <laughs> not not effort, but what to talk about. I know that you love flowers and and stuff, but I have like two questions so that I, I don't steal anybody else's time too much. Because when I see you in the shop or or, or in somewhere that you have all the, you, you you always have the same look in your face on your eyes so how, how, how do you think about roles and attitude do you have like different roles like in when we when you were working with the mimic god or, or or do you have the same role in work or in home with your family so the first question is how do you divide those things the work and the, and the free time with the roles do you have different roles no, I'm exactly the same person in my work and on my free time. What my friends see is the same that my partners in other companies see and my, my boss, boss sees. Uh, I might not curse at that much for the when president is at the same place. <laughs> I use word fuck quite often, but not with the business. Place, but my attitude and my honesty is same in every place because I have no skills of pretending something I'm not. And what I've learned from my years that I'm good and I know that not all people gonna like me but there has been a, a lot of nice 
stuff going on because I'm just what I am. I don't want anybody to have roles because it doesn't, it's it's not going to work. Yeah, because that was my, my kind of, when you're talking about attitude, I want that people are real, you know? Yeah. When you see them in different places, you have to kind of think that, is that the same person? Because that was a different person in one year old, one uh, hour ago in meeting room. So that's my kind of, Thing that I I I will mean, look I kind of look up to you because you are real. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is that I don't have no, any boundaries. Sometimes yeah. I really should have some boundaries, but I don't have. But if we think about the branding and selling, we are having a social selling now, and the uh, Henkilö brandi. What's the yeah. name? Yeah, personal branding is it's the thing nowadays and people are smelling if you are fake. Nobody wants to read about the nonsense on LinkedIn or nonsense on, on Twitter. They need to see people, they want to hear stories, they want to relate, they have, want to have a cosketo spin, but they want to hear that people did not win, but they did rise again that's something because we all are epataudellisia not perfect yeah. and we need to understand that the winners are not perfect also it gives so much strength yeah. when you see that i'm the same exact person as anybody else yeah well that's my my final question i have like tens but my final question because we have a limited time, is that you have a quite a strong personality in Facebook, and you wrote uh, and you write quite personal stuff in there. Um, has anybody commented to you on that? That is it like okay, or do you believe that it's like more than okay to write so personal stuff in, in Facebook? Because yeah. nobody is nobody's writing about my what my. My, my, uh, how do you say it? Chemical areas in in Facebook, except you. So, <laughs> so, uh, how 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 you see it? Because when you talk, they're talking about attitude and stuff and personal branding. You have quite quite strong brand in in Facebook, and I I I, I strongly love it. You have your own style. Nobody else does it the same way. Like have I, you ever been any any been any problem with that in 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 business that you have so strong brand in Facebook? Well, mm, like I said, I need to have some boundaries, but I don't have. But I have a split. Uh, my social med me media like that. Uh, that I have my business connection in LinkedIn. And then I have more personal stuff on Facebook, but on any given day, I can open my status, status, statukset monikossa to open because I don't want to we work or be with the people who are padden lämpöisiä. Lukewarm. Yeah, because um, I know that always it doesn't matter what kind of person i would be there's always people who like me and there's always people who don't like me but i want to work with people who love me and love the our um, goal together and if it means that people there be, there might be a people who hate me it's okay because we are so strong team with these people who has a, a love towards me or my agenda and i have a strong relationship to them because i know that they accept me i know that we have a similar thoughts i i i think that i'm never gonna be a kadellan boyman yeah. i I'm, I'm always going to be open because those are funny stories that I tell. And I think that because I also know that 
um, the world is cruel. We have a uh, lots of pressure about the appearance and body weight or what parents think or business model things. So if I can be there and tell that it's okay to be a little choppy or it's okay to be a little old and wrinkled and if it's okay to be sometimes a failure to set yourself i hope it can comfort to these people when they read my stories because every time when i speak about my family violence uh, stuff i get the personal message from somebody who says thank you it saved me or it comforted me and if it means that 100 people hate me because i tell open stories it doesn't fucking matter because that one person did get comfort from that story i did help somebody and i know that it takes a person some kind of and you don't have to be like me but you can find the way you can be you and you need to be you not somebody else that's that's interesting uh, uh what do you think about the question that uh, if you think about attitude uh the person that you are uh, does it me does it uh, take that you have to have few failures in your life to be strong enough no okay no. no like i said about the hero stories i hate hero stories because it's hard to relate on man who has hasn't legs and still go to himalaya and your problem is that you have some problems on your work or you hate your co-work and no you don't have to have the failures in your life there's yeah. a of people who has a really nice and mellow life and they still can learn people are different they can learn from different stuff i'm the hard when it's horrible people whose life is a mess and i did try to find my way out of it but if your life is easier you can still learn something we yeah. are different and the learning experiences are different and that is only the thing that matters yeah that's wise. I have uh, two things for you. First, you're not choppy, and two, you're not old. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that choppy, but I did gain 16 kilos during the Corona year. So keep it up. It was expensive. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 euros per kilogram. Yeah, it's, it's really expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, my my first, first and final round is the uh, thank you, Amelia, so, 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 so very much for the experience, speech, and for your honesty. And good luck with the flowers. Thank you. So, for the others, I have an 80, like eight, zero plants at my house like i said i have no boundaries and i have a little bit passion on things <laughs> thank you timon that is amazing to hear uh is there any other questions anybody wants to ask i can read it from the side park or you can raise your hand if you want to questions are welcome <laughs> This is the Finnish event. It is really hard to ask questions. So if you want later to talk about something with me, you are free to have sent messages for me via Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or LinkedIn or with email. I can help you whatever you want. And at least I hope I can help. And I have a lots of Good connection and wide network. So if you need help for something, I, I'm really happy to help you. I'm now currently living in Joensu. I have been in Joensu two years and I'm feeling quite lonely myself at the moment. 
So if you ever want to have a lunch or go to coffee with me, I'm happy to join you. Yeah, I have one thing actually for Amelia. It, it was nice to meet you like, was it uh, three years ago or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, sounds like there's lots of lots of happening in in uh, your life in in past years, and uh, uh, you you seem to be really happy and uh, shiny person now. It's it's. Yes, I think good things. good things can happen quite quick. Also, true. It was a good speech. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You gave me lots of pressures. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have one question actually. Have you ever met any produce working with somebody? They think, oh, you are too loud or you speak too much, and then you have missed or they have missed an opportunity to work with you. Has there ever been anything like that? Oh, darling, yes. <laughs> like millions and millions of times, I, I did actually have a, a long employment unemployment period that i i wanted to work wherever i could i there was probably 100 application i and i didn't get the job nowhere and it's funny to think that i'm now here but i think that i don't believe in faith but i think that i just needed to learn something and i did use those years to learn new stuff and it helped me to achieve this moment where i am now uh yiri was talking about the event uh two or three years ago i was working on uh, joensu uh, joensu in a marketing office in joensu and i got fired there but I don't think that it was uh, something that I miss it or them miss it. We just wasn't meant to be together. It doesn't mean that they did something wrong or I did something wrong. It just means that we wasn't too meant to be together, like in relationships. I I just want to say that something, sometimes people chemistry don't like, and it happens. But please don't, you can take the learnings from there, but you still need to be true to yourself because there are going to be people and there are going to be the workplaces and there are going to be a stuff, different kind of stuff. It just wasn't that moment. The moment will come. That's amazing to hear <laughs> and very encouraging also. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, Tommy has a question. Uh, how do you navigate problems with diversity, equity, and inclusion in workplace? Oh, that's a that's really big question. It's a good question, but it would take another meeting to go through this. But this is actually the thing that you need to actually have a plan for this. You need to plan what you are doing in your workplaces, how you how you manage with this you have to be a program for this you will need to have a target results to this this is not something you just go sit down in one meeting and decide we do this and maybe this is okay this is one conversation you need to actually work to have a good diversity and inclusion programs in workplace it's really it, this is a nice talk and i would like to talk about that a lot we have been going through with these kind of topics in mimikoda or helma so but i don't think i can answer shortly in the uh, in this moment for that question do you have any kind of one tip or one advice you'd give to one person to work towards that um Uh, I think that we all, even me, every day, we need to understand that what kind of tiedostamattomia uh, asenteita, what's the word for that? 
unconscious attitudes or or unconscious biases we all have in here when we see the people of color when we see the different genders when we see the different ages when we see the different situation we tend to have some kind of image of that people and we need to understand that that does that image in our head doesn't tell the truth we need to see that people and we need to listen that people multiple times until we can make the image come true so we just need to start seeing people and listening people because people are not what they seem to be they have a lots of stuff going on inside of them or not that's a <laughs> that's also if the, <laughs> that's also something in people uh, Susanna has a question how to learn problem solving and creativity how you can learn it another huge question um i think that you this is really depressing people always tell that you can learn everything yes it's you can learn everything to some state but people are also different some people are good in mathematics some people are good with words and some people are good in problem solving and some people are good with creativity things but you cannot master everything but you can practice stuff like that but i think it needs that you need to have a mentor or you need to have a team and i think that's the easiest way to learn from the others because most of the my life's breaking points has always been when somebody else has been helping me because it's really hard to understand your own skills because you see yourself totally different way than others see you so it's really nice to have a conversation with the, some people and you can learn start by learning how other people see you how other people see your skills and then you start to go through these problems you have for example in your work you need to talk about those stuff aloud and then you need to start breaking those to the different kinds of solution and then you need to try there is <laughs> you need to try everything you need to make choices and try and then you make a note about it was it success no what went wrong what i can learn or was it success yes what did we learn it's a process it's a really long process i'm fucking 45 years old and i'm still going on that process sorry susanna but if you want to talk about that uh later we can have a meeting because i'm actually quite good on problem solving and i might be a little bit creative so we can have a brainstorming with that yes. I, have no, I have no answers i'm so sorry why you ask this ask stuff like that i don't have answers i'm gonna feel bad <laughs> don't feel bad first of all because every answer is a good answer and it's an answer towards the greater answer later on yeah. but yeah nico you had a question yeah i think from uh yours's point of view at least it's definitely been an honor having you this evening and i do recall when i called you about the opportunity that it really is a uh, a breath of fresh air the honesty you represent and uh, my question isn't actually that complicated. Uh, it's about uh, your material. I hope that uh, after the event itself, we're able to get the material and distribute it to people who might need to see it. Yeah, my material is quite visual. So if, if you want, I can uh, write down a few of my thoughts and include those with the visual materials, if that helps. That sounds perfect. Thank you very much. amazing is there any more questions any more people want to say any more things to open before we go to a little break
Do we have a little time? I would like to tell you a short story. La uh, last time, I think it was Simo who invited me to speak on your event two years ago. And I was really excited. I was horrified also because it was English like today and I hate speaking English because I'm better at Finnish. And it was the... Oh, it was really horrible experience <laughs> because couple hours before my presentation, my son got in huge accident. And I thought that I'm a brave girl, I can do my presentation. And just minutes before my speech, my son went under the surgery and I was terrified. And I have no, I, I can remember nothing on that speech. I have no, I don't know how it went. So I know at least Timo was there. I'm so sorry you had to see that. And I was really terrified to come here today because I had a little trauma because I was so disappointed myself that I let you down last time. So I feel that I'm in some kind of depth in you and because I think that my speech is not the best because of the language barrier also. I think that I'm still in some kind of depth with you. So if you need any kind of stuff with from me, I'm happy to help you once again and later in any kind of form what needed. <laughs> but always be brave and try again like me now. <laughs> That's amazing point to stop this and go to a little break we'll be back in about 10 minutes so 10 past six we'll come back and we will have yuri talking to us thank you thank you so 10 minutes break we'll be back 10 past not six 10 past seven <laughs> my dear and Go grab yourself something to eat, go grab yourself something to drink, call your friends, tell them to come, and we'll be back. Thank you.